one cool thing that you do get with clustering that I've always liked is you get actually great reporting systems. So you can actually see if there's issues, if there's problems, if something's failed over at a time. This is really, really good to know. All right. And again, you have to schedule time into your day to go and look at this stuff. The problem that a lot of us have in the IT world is there's all kinds of tools out there to help us do our job. And it's not that we don't want to use the tools. We just don't have the time. If most of you are like the common IT people, then there's probably only a few of you in your department and you're handling everything. That is the common IT the world. Very rarely do you work for companies like Liberty Mutual that has 5,000 IT people worldwide. That is, the, that is the exception to the rule. Most of us are in environments, even if you work for a large company, and you're working, for example, even Microsoft. Microsoft has got offices all over the United States. I know a friend of mine that actually works for Microsoft in New Jersey. He works for Microsoft. He's the only IT person in his office in micro, at, the, at the office in New Jersey. He does all of the networking for their network. So you would think that because he works for Microsoft that they have like all these IT people. But no, his office, he, he has about 100 people in his office. He's the only IT person. And that is more the norm, believe it or not. So... Again, you got a lot of these great tools, but you got to make sure that you have the capabilities to go and look at these tools. And that could be the hardest part of our job, setting some time aside to go in and look at the reports, to make sure everything's working okay. I mean, right here, by looking at this report, this would automatically tell you that at one point you had a failure. That at some point, there was a network access problem that caused your cluster to cause a failure. Now, maybe the network went down. Maybe you had a power outage. Maybe your UPS went down for a couple seconds. All right, it might be back up and running now and everything's fine, but you might want to know about this for future reference so that you can keep your eyes on certain parts of your equipment. If you never went in and saw this report, you may never have known this happened. You may not know you have a lurking problem in the background. And I, listen, I want to be honest with everybody too. You know, at my last company, I was an IT director. I ran two departments. Now, I had an office upstairs. The IT room was downstairs. My office, we had a locked up lab. If you were an IT or an engineer, you couldn't even get into our room. We had an actual key fob to get in. So you had to be part of our engineering or IT department, so you couldn't even enter our offices. And I had an office in the back corner, and I ran both departments. Honestly, I never really went down to the server room. Very rarely. Why? Because I could do everything from my office. I could remote into all my servers. I could watch everything. Now, is that a good thing? No. It's probably a better thing to every once in a while go downstairs and go into your server room. Why? Because sometimes you get messages that pop up on your server. And if you're not ever in the server room, how do you know if the message is going to be is there or not? You need to go into your room every once in a while. And honestly, I was just as guilty as everybody else. There was times where I might not get into my server room for a week or two because I had so many things going on. I just didn't have time to get down there to just check the boxes. So I completely understand. I don't want to make it seem like, because I'm sitting up here saying, hey, you should be checking your reports, that if you don't, it doesn't make you a bad IT person. All right? Now, if there's five of you in IT, twiddling your thumbs with nothing to do and nobody's checking the reports, then yeah, the, you need to do a little better job. But again, if you're in most situations, you don't just get the chance to, you know, we normally have 50 or 60 things on our plate. It's very hard to just say, well, you know, I really have nothing to do today, so I'm going to go watch the event viewer for an hour. 